Think you can't draw? Today I'm going to share some simple decoration inspiration for your bullet journal. Hello, it's Alex from the Archer and Olive Ambassador team. Four years ago, I started creating a more decorative bullet journal, but I definitely wouldn't describe myself as a natural artist. Instead, I've been using methods that avoid drawing from scratch, but still bring an aesthetic element to my journal. Don't forget to have a look at the blog on the Archer and Olive website, where I go through these pages in more detail and subscribe for more tutorials from the Archer and Olive Ambassador team. In addition to my journal, the ideas I share today may need some extra supplies. Archer and Olive creates some fantastic accessories that are really useful for adding simple decoration into your journals. I often use their coloured notepads. I'll show you some examples today of how to use these for decoration in your bullet journal. They also do black and craft paper notepads. I feel like the craft paper especially offers this cosy, a cosy theme to your journal. I often use it in autumn. To cut the paper, you might need a cutting mat, scissors such as these ones from Archer and Olive. And I sometimes, if I'm actually cutting my journal pages, which was a bit of a game changer, use a craft knife. One of the main ways that I'm creative in my journal without drawing something from scratch is using stencils. Archer and Olive have created some of these from the monthly kits, which you might already have. This one was in the December subscription box. You may have other types of stencils at home too. The Archer and Olive ink stamps are a great way to add decoration really enjoyed using these coffee and book ones for a theme uh, last year. You may have sticky notes as well that you could include, postcards can easily be added into your journal to create an aesthetic page. Then of course there's stickers, so Archer and Olive released these with most of their launches, seasonal launches. Archer and Olive creates some fantastic themed stickers, which is another really simple, effective way to add decoration to your journals. And of course, washi tape. So sometimes the washi tape can match the theme. There's also plain washi tape as well, which we can use on our pages. I'm gonna show you some examples today as well of how I've cut washi tape to use it in a slightly different way. When I first started bullet journaling, I just used a notebook and a pen. But once I had established the type of pages that worked for me, I started to add in simple decorations. I found decorating them was a way to unwind in an evening. But the problem with this is that I always felt that I couldn't draw. So instead I've learned alternative ways to add decoration to my page. One of the simplest ways to add decoration into your journals is by using washi tape. Here's one from Archer and Olive um, with a book theme. So in November 2023, I used the washi tape and cut it into smaller pieces to look like individual books. The nice wide washi tape to add a banner across the page. The book washi tape on this page, I actually cut so that it looks like an actual bookshelf, just with a line of brown pen underneath. And again here, I cut the washi tape, but positioned it to look like a pile of books. In January 2023, I used this washi, which is a lovely wide one, to add a border down the page, but also as a background for under these tabs. Some of the features on this vertical washi tape, the coffee cups and tea cups, I actually cut out individually to use as stickers and bring the theme all together. Here I'm using decorative washi to divide a page. And again here, I've cut the washi into smaller sections to create decorations. 
especially useful if I didn't have enough stickers for a page. In this example, I've actually cut the letters out of washi tape. I use washi tape in this theme too. I actually cut the washi into washi tape shapes. So it looked like a pile of tape on a shelf. These pens aren't drawn, they're actually not even stickers, it's a washi tape that I cut to make it look like a pen pot. This stationary theme is one of my favourites and shows how you can simply use a combination of washi tape, stickers, just straight lines to create a aesthetic page in your journal. It's a series of coloured squares, again I've used washi tape but cut out some of the elements to add to the page. This grid pattern was easy to do. I don't think I even used a ruler for most of it. Using coloured paper with stickers to make it look like a notice board. I use stencils to create most of my headers. Washi tape here again as decoration. And stickers too. Stickers are a fantastic way to easily add a theme and decoration into your journal. These stickers were from an Archer and Ollie subscription box and this paper as well. And that really allows you to quickly create a cover page. I added some decorative washi tape. I carried on the theme throughout just using stickers and some complimentary washi tape. The shapes on my pages are often just boxes. These ones I didn't even use a ruler for. Over the years, I've loved using coloured paper from the Archer and Olive notepads in my journals. For this love letter theme, it was a great way to have simple shapes that could create a decorative edge to the page. It might take more time to draw them and cut them, but I then found it was an easy, effective way to add decoration without having to draw things from scratch. I might be worried about them going wrong as well. At least these, you can just pick the best ones to include. Another way I have used coloured paper in my journal is this craft paper window. You can see I've created a basic window shape and then included stickers instead of drawing what would be through the window. And here, if we open up this, I've cut the simple shape of a window with shutters and again, inside you can see through the window, but it's just stickers. Here are some more examples. Another example of using craft paper in my journal is this garden door. I created this when I was setting up my journal a few years ago now as a future log. You may find that over time you've collected sticky notes, birthday cards that you love. You can use these to inspire your themes as well. Here, I've used these sticky notes as page dividers and a birthday card that I'd been saving for forever finally made it into a journal. I started to use ink in my Archer and Olive journals last year. The paper is a lovely thickness to hold the ink and I found that the Archer and Olive acrylograph pens work really well over the top. The ink background was quick to do using a basic shape stencil and I then just added simple patterns before drawing some basic leaves and shapes over the ink. Here's another example of using ink in my journal to create this background. I use a stencil for the shape and then the black acrylograph pen worked really well on top. This theme was a really good example that inspiration is all around us. You don't have to draw things from scratch. Here, I actually used the Archer and Olive flower press to press these flowers and then just stuck them into my journal. Definitely a cheats way to include florals in your journal without drawing them from scratch. Another example of using ink in my journal was my books and coffee theme. Here the craft paper formed the background and I just used the coffee and books ink stamps and the roller date stamp to 
than the Archer and Olive subscription box. These stamps here using the black ink, but later in the month I used lighter colour inks as well to create more of a background. And I found a page like this using ink and stamps is actually uh, very quick to make compared to drawing them individually, but also I feel looks just as good. Here's another example of using ink and stamps in my journals. This time I've used it to create this cover page with a, a Dutch door title. You may enjoy photography or want to use your photo printer more, or perhaps you could include photos in your journal. Here a cover page for a memories theme. And here's another example of using a photo. Instead of taking the time to draw an image for behind this window effect, I printed a photo and just stuck it in. Cutting the pages in my journal was a bit of a game changer. I must admit, it did take me a few years to be brave enough to actually cut the pages, but once I did so, it allowed me to create some fantastic layouts in my journal. For this one, I used coloured paper and then cut out the shapes to create, this is a get creative theme, so they're meant to look like splatters of ink. Cutting the edge of the page is of course a bit easier. Here you can see I've created like a Dutch door, but Dutch doors do not need to have straight edges. Some coloured paper behind to create a more aesthetic background. This theme is a great example of how using simple shapes grouping them together can create a fantastic decorative theme without being an elaborate one to draw. Sometimes in my bullet journal I do attempt more of a drawing based theme but if I do so I do keep this to simple shapes and patterns. This example here I've cut my paper once again and the mountains here may have taken me a little bit of time but they are just a group of lines. During the month, I'd get quicker and more effective at creating them. It's something I would always try on a piece of paper first, and when I was happy with how to draw them, I'd keep that to refer to. This is another great example. It's basically a mass of patterns and doodles. I really enjoyed making this theme, it was really relaxing to add the patterns. As you can see, there's a lot of dots, squiggles, a few basic shapes like rainbows and stars which I used a stencil for. And then to add a layer of interest, I've used craft paper. Repeating the patterns throughout meant that I could improve the technique as we went through the month. And this meant later in the month it was definitely a quicker process. One I still think looks quite effective. Just because you might not feel confident drawing doesn't mean you don't want to spend time on your journal decoration. A floral theme is one I'm very quick to avoid. However, I managed to create this one using very simple shapes that I repeated throughout the month. These ones were a little bit trickier to do, but as they were small and individual as a tracker, it didn't really matter what they looked like in the end. Remember the most important thing is that you're using your journal. It doesn't need to be aesthetic, unless that is something that will help you to use it. Thank you for watching. I hope I've inspired you to try some different methods in your journal for decoration especially if you don't feel confident drawing things yourself. Don't forget to have a look at the blog on the Archer and Olive website where I go through these pages in more detail with additional images. There's also a printable to remind you of these methods with some examples too. Remember, if you want to try any of the Archer and Olive supplies I've referred to today, you can save 10% by using Alex10 this is an affiliate link, it supports me, but at no extra cost to you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials from the Archer and Olive Ambassador team.